everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today I'm going to do a review of my Clairsonic Sonic Cleaning Brush, the Mia. Now I did a review of my Mia 2 just about a year ago, right after I got it. Well, as it turns out, I found out uh, maybe three months ago that the one I had been using was a fake. Uh, one of my very alert viewers saw my review and was like, I think it might be a fake. So I looked at it. I went online, did the research, and oh my gosh, turns out it was. My mom had given me, it to me, but I had told her which one to buy on Amazon. Amazon is not an authorized reseller of Clairsonic products, neither is eBay. So if you're buying from one of those two sources, uh, take a look at your product. If you want to see if yours could possibly be a fake, uh, I'll put the link to that video in the About Information box down below. But so now that I have sent that one back. My mom got her money back from Amazon, which was great. I went ahead and bought myself a replacement. And now that one was the Mia 2. What I bought was the Mia. And so I wanted to tell you first about what the differences are between the two products and then do a quick review on how I like the real thing. I got this nice dark gray color. I think this must be marketed towards men because it came with some instructions about how to use it when you're shaving your face and a picture of a man. So uh, apparently I'm manly in the fact that I like dark gray. This one happened to go with my bathroom. I love this color. It's terrific. Now, just to go over briefly what the differences are between the Mia and the Mia 2 and why I chose this one instead of the two. Since my knockoff one functioned just like the Mia 2, I feel like I can compare at least the functionality on them. So this is 125. The Mia 2 is 150. With both of them, you get the charger. This one is one speed. The Mia 2 has two speeds. The Mia 2 has the T-Timer. This one does not have the T-Timer. This comes with a one-year warranty. The Mia 2 comes with a two-year warranty. This one comes in five colors. The Mia 2 comes in seven colors. And with the package, you also get a travel case with the Mia 2. So with this one, what you get is the unit, the charger, and it comes with the sensitive brush head. And this is this one. I don't use this one because my skin is super, super sensitive. All right, so that is what the sensitive brush head looks like. It's got the gray plastic. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but all these um, brush head centers pop out so that you can make it into a smaller brush. You just squeeze the little pins on the inside together and then the center pops out so you can use this for more of a detailed brush. I never did that anyway and I don't really use this brush head. This is the sensitive, then they have a gentle which is this one with the blue. I tried this gentle head. This one was not even gentle enough for me. My skin still, it wasn't irritated but it was a little stingy while I was using it doing that whole one minute cycle so I don't use either of those. And the one I use is the cashmere luxe head. And just to compare the two, you can see how much longer the bristles are. And so since they're so much longer, they're much, much softer. So feeling the difference, this feels scrubby. If your skin is not sensitive or delicate, that's fine. You can use one of these. I like this one. This one feels um, like a makeup brush. It's super soft and super nice, where that one does feel like a scrubber. The other main differences are in how and when it tells you to charge it. With the Mia 2, it has a light around the button and that will start to flash when it needs charging. And while you're charging, that'll flash. And when it's done charging, that will stop flashing. This one has a light back here, but because this is dark gray, you can't see the light. But it is pretty clever. It does tell you when it needs charging. It does tell you when it's done charging. And it's all through a series of vibrations that the handle gives. So when it is trying to tell me that it needs charging. The handle will buzz once when the unit shuts off at the end of the one minute cycle. So that's the first indication that it needs charging. Now you use it a few more nights because of course I'm like, oh, you need charging? I'm not gonna charge you right away. All right, so use it a few more nights and then all of a sudden it'll buzz three times to tell you, hey, look, I really need charging now. So then I kept using it and then it buzzed at me five times at which point it was pretty much screaming at me, hey, charge me, would you please? Um, I, of course, didn't, and then it was dead. So I couldn't use it that night. So now I'm like, okay, now I know five buzzes is the limit that you can go to. So when it buzzes five buzzes, you better get it on the charger. Now, when you attach the charger, you attach it just like that. It's magnetic. It goes right on. 
and uh, when it attaches, it buzzes once so that you know it's attached and charging. Now the way it tells you that it's fully charged, since it doesn't have the flashing light in the handle, is that when you pull it off, it gives you a series of pulses to mean either it's charged or it's not charged. It usually takes around 18 hours or overnight for a charge, so if it is not fully charged when you pull this off, it will vibrate once. If it is fully charged when you pull this off, it will vibrate twice. It'll go bzz, bzz. Okay, so that's how you know it's fully charged and ready to go. Now, the reason that I bought this one over the other one was, number one, I wanted to save 50 bucks on it. I happened to have a coupon that day for, I think it was Skin Store that I bought it on, and so it was $100. When I had the Mia 2, I never used the second speed, ever. So it was fine with me to get a one-speed device. I didn't realize that this did not have the T-Timer, but actually now that I don't have the T-Timer, I don't really care because I didn't go by the T-Timer anyway. What the T-Timer is is that the brush makes little pulsing noises during the one minute cycle so that what you're supposed to do to wash your face is do 20 seconds on your forehead, 20 seconds for your nose and chin, and then 10 seconds on each cheek. And I find that 20 seconds on any one area is just too long for me. So I just kind of go around and do my whole face, then do down my neck. And now this one cleans just as well as the Mia 2 so that after I wash my face, I can't believe how dirty this is, gunked up and full of makeup. I feel like my face is super squeaky clean, cleaner than it has ever been in my life using this. So that's why I use it once a day. I use it at night to uh, remove my makeup. I remove my eye makeup separately and then I use a nice non-foaming cleanser with this and wash my face and my face is so clean. Now this claims that it helps your uh, anti-aging serums absorb better. So it probably does do that. I don't really know. I can't. <laughs> you know, calibrate my skin and find out. It also claims to make your skin softer and smoother and to reduce the look of pores. And I gotta say that I find all those to be true. I have fairly big pores on my forehead and on my cheeks. And while my pores are not, you know, completely reduced to the point that you can't see them, I feel like on my forehead, especially right here, or I call that my orange peel skin, um, that has really diminished that quite a lot using this. And I feel like um, now when I either don't have it or that night that it wasn't charged and I couldn't use it, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to get my face clean enough? I don't feel like the makeup comes off as thoroughly as it does when using this. So I'm really happy with it. I'm glad that the viewer told me that I had a fake. I'm glad I now have a real one. It's so much more powerful than that fake one was. When it's vibrating, you can really feel it vibrating, even through these long these long bristles. I tried to use this head on the fake one. It didn't vibrate at all. So um, this has been terrific. Even though this head is so soft and um, so nice, it still removes the makeup so very, very effectively. I'm going to say my skin actually shines. It's so clean when I'm done with it. So all in all, I think it's a great product. I'm very happy with it. If you're buying one, um, the best thing to do is go on the Clarisonic website to see where the authorized retailers are near you. They have it broken up into brick and mortar and online. And then look at the different places online and see where they're offering a discount code. Sometimes if you'll sign up for their uh, newsletter, they'll send a discount code right away. A lot of times viewers will write down in the comments below, so take a look at the comments because somebody might know of a discount code that's coming up and you might be able to get one at a discount because it is kind of expensive for something that you use to wash your face, but I gotta say it's worth it. I really love it. It's one of the best things that I've added into my beauty routine this past year. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is that when you buy this, there's a code on the bottom of the handle and you should go to Clarisonic Put in that code and register your device because once you register it, they'll send you a coupon for $25 off to be used within the next, I think it's 90 days. I think you have three months to use it. And that's great, especially if you're using these uh, Cashmere Luxe heads because these don't come in a set of three. You can only buy these individually and they're 30 bucks a piece. So if you use that coupon code, you have to spend 50, I think, to get the 25 off. But if you buy two heads, it's like getting one for $5. Stock up because you are supposed to replace the heads every three months or something like that. All right, so that is the video for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.